We have got to desire righteousness over popularity, to desire righteousness over camaraderie with the enemy. We've got to desire righteousness over over having a bigger church or or we got to desire righteousness over, over, over being alone. That ministries that are so layered where the people cannot connect with leadership is not what the Christ intended. It's it's not what he intended. Christ was with the disciples. Christ led the disciples. He taught the disciples. He ate with the disciples. I get it. We all have our own agendas. We have our own lives that we have to live. But the body of Christ has to be a relational body of Christ. It has to be a connective body of Christ. There is pains and there's all kinds of suffering that happens in ignorance. And we have got to get to the point where we have discernment. And, and, and our the gifts, the Bible says the gifts were given to all of the people for what? To edify the church, mm -hmm. to edify the church. And we've got to get back to the point where we're exercising our spiritual gifts to discern who are, who, who should be in leadership. You know, what, 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 as, as the older generation would say, what's your story? Right. We need to go back to what is your story and to be able to be prayed up. The prayers of the righteous avail of much. We're not just calling out people and we're going to go and start doing those things. We have got to desire righteousness over popularity, to desire righteousness over camaraderie with the enemy. We've got to desire righteousness over over having a bigger church or or we got to desire righteousness over, over, over being alone. Because sometimes you will tell the truth and you will be left alone for it. Absolutely. And you know what? And we have to be careful with these with this numbers game. So uh, I've often said that um, from the church I came from, I would, would admonish them that we have to be careful of wanting these big congregations. Mm -hmm. um, the Bible said, despise not the day of small beginnings. Come on now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have to be careful because when it started out, when Jesus started out, it was never nothing big. Come on, y'all. Right. It was never anything big. So we have to be careful with that. Um, so what I simply said is that you can give me, uh, you can have a thousand people, but just give me a hundred with influence. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Mm -hmm. And we'll mm -hmm. win each and every time. Um, mm -hmm. So we have to be careful with want to see these conglomerates and see see these uh, cathedrals and see these uh, these pews filled from, from, from the beginning. I've never been one that been big on that, guys, for that very reason. Because I know when Jesus started things, it was just it was just twelve. Mm -hmm. uh, when he started things, it was just a few loaves. Come on, a couple mm -hmm. of fish. Come on, y'all. Mm -hmm. It was nothing, never, never, never big. But he took that small thing and then he turned those things in, into miracles. Uh, so we should be careful what what we what we wish for. Uh, we want to be able to be at, at the cooler and set that that we go to a a, a ten thousand teacher. Mm -hmm. People want to set those things. Mm -hmm. I've never been one of those because Minister uh, Therese, you just mentioned it. Then you you lose that connectivity. Um, I don't want to have to wait two weeks to have to talk to my parents if I need to talk. To Come on, y'all. Yeah. I don't want to have to go through all these layers if I need to have a counseling section. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to talk to uh, fifteen other other ministers and other preachers before I get a chance to just have a one on one with my pastor. I'm not interested in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, and, and and to to your point, there's there's a we're gonna wrap up because we have got a, another program shortly after this. But we, we what what's important, I think, also is is what you said is that the Bible says that God added to the church daily, right? He added to the church daily when He saw that the people were filled with the Holy Spirit and they were filled, uh, you know, He filled them with the Holy Spirit. He filled them with with the connectivity and the people were were fellowshipping and worshiping Him. And He added to the church daily. Well, it's not the the problem is not the size. The problem is the heart, the content, right? Who who are we? I, I'd rather have a thousand people that we feed than a thousand people in the church, right? That that's because that's what He showed us. That's the example that He provided. He didn't want all these people having to follow him for the wrong reasons. He called them out. He said, you just follow me for the food. I'm, I'm giving you something where you will never thirst again. You will always have me. I am the living water. I am the bread. And so when you, when, when we start back on the track of selling Jesus and giving away Jesus 
instead of giving away our personalities and promoting ourselves and making sure that we have all these likes and have, you know, this YouTube contract because we got all these followers and, and people tuning in to our views. When that, there's nothing wrong with that. God said that if we, we seek him first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all those things will be added unto us. But where is the work of the church where we are at a point where what we say we live, what we read and in the Bible we live, and people see it publicly that that's who we are? That's where we've got to get back to. That's where we've got to center. And we've got to make sure that we give the people of the world an example to want to be a part of Christ and not become part of the world. So they just, you know, see us as one of them. Hey guys, it's Pastor John here. Please, if you like this video that you just saw, hit that like button for us. Second thing I wanna ask you to do is to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're putting out videos once a day at about 5.30 p.m. Hit that bell notification so that you'll know when a new video has been uploaded. And then the final thing to do, share this video, share this information. If you know somebody that has a need that it can be benefited by it, please, Put it out in circulation so that we can try to help as many people as possible. Thanks and God bless.